for the last uh, three years it was of your last imprisonment. to come to the Free Ward Center, as I know that the group space here, like BAN, INDEX, and Article 19, have done a lot to promote the freedom of speech in Burma. It's also great to put faces to names. I'm very happy to meet many of the people who campaigned for me to be released. What it did mean to told me, a lot to told me. My most recent detention was from 2008 to 2011 in the Eugenia prison in the northern Burma. At the beginning, I felt very depressed and my health was not good. But I used to feel better when I heard about the support I knew I was receiving outside. In November 2008, I won freedom to create prize and my sister-in-law, she called to the sympathizers in Eugenia and she wrote to me the small note and smuggled it in. And then when I was unwell in early 2009, I secretly received a little book of the support from Amnesty members, which strengthened my spirits. In April 2009, during a very, very hot Indian water festival season, I collapsed. I had high blood pressure, very awfully. Systole in the test of the pressure is 210 and 140. The prison staff couldn't call the doctor. One of the jail governors who would have to give permission to open the gate was out in the town drinking. So the staff just dragged me out of my cell and led me on the pathway in the center of the prison. My body was on the ground. Luckily, I revived naturally. The doctor didn't come until the morning. After that, there was an investigation and two senior jail officers were set. The new prison officer who came was much more reasonable. I was allowed to buy my own TV and DVD player and read books. I had TV <coughs> secretly chimed so I could also listen to the radio news from the BBC. <laughs> Sometimes I even had a mobile phone and I could put bats on the football, <laughs> Premier League, with the other prisoners. <laughs> but not all the prisoners were this relaxed, particularly Manly and in the jail of the Rangam. So I was able to catch upon Hollywood movies and also watch some of the DVDs which are smuggled in. I saw the DVD of the May 2010 demonstration that a lot of you here organized for me on the World Press Freedom Day in the Tropical Square. I even received the T-shirt <laughs> and I pinned to the wall in my cell wall and then with the postcards from the amnesty 
This is my installation art in my cell. <laughs> I was able to watch Michael, Rex, and Justin's documentary about me, this prison where I live. It was a pleasure to meet my fellow coming, <coughs> Michael, met a man face to face yesterday for the first time. I appreciate his solidarity and the solidarity of the old actors and comedians who have spoken out for me, including the equity, who made me the honorary life member in 2011. A lot is changing. We have the much more freedom for the speech. I have been able to run the Freedom Film Festival in our country. And the rules for the censoring films are also changing, just as they are for the magazines and weekly journals. But we still have a way to go. Not all of us were released over the last year. We believe there are the still several hundred political prisoners in Burma. So please continue with me to campaign for the release and for us to work together to build a free and democratic Burma.